a rowdy soccer game and chatter in the classroom. A change from gunshots these students are used to. Over the last two years, Azidi refugees from northern Iraq have begun schooling at Armadale Secondary College. Armadale was targeted in 2017 as one of four regional towns for refugee settlement. Teacher Sarah Mills has built a great rapport with the students. We started with two kids in 2018 and now have 115 kids today. Yeah, it took our kids a little while to get used to that teachers can be your friends and that in order for them to feel safe and learn in our environment, we do have to be uh, develop a friendship and a rapport with them, otherwise they just won't trust us. For these children, school has provided safety and security, and most importantly, a second chance to experience a normal childhood. So then we, we work on some principles that we do through a, a program called STARS. So we work on safety, trust, friendship, all of those things first before we even step foot into the alphabet and numeracy and things like that. 18-year-old Hanan and her younger sister Saham were the first Azidi students to begin at the school. Before this, they spent 18 months imprisoned by ISIS. I come to Australia because uh, Iraq is dangerous, Australia is safe. My favourite subject is science. Principal Carolyn Lasker says Azidi students have embraced all areas of school life. The Yazidi students are so appreciative of, of education. Uh, I think they see it as a privilege uh, that they are here and able to access fantastic teachers. Hanan and Saram are excited for their future. After completing the HSC, they both intend on going to university. Um, in my future, I want to be a geography teacher. Georgia Vaughan, Central News.